hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to talk about source list and also we would go inside the SAP system and check the creation of a source list so source lists are list of sources for materials in SAP so it allows the date ranges during which procurement of materials is possible from certain sources and it can be copied from one plan to another so there are two ways of creating it one is automatically by maintaining this check and also manually so in the purchasing view of the material master we have this checkbox it is called source list so if i check this option while creating a source list will be mandatory for this material so if i have to procure this material and in the material master the source list is checked that means that before i start the procurement of this material i have to maintain the source list that is that i have to maintain a list of valid sources for this material so the t codes for the creation are me01 for creation me02 for change edit me03 for display so this is a typical example of a source list wherein i have the material and the plant so this plant is always the receiving plant and here i maintain the data i give dates or uh, if i enter a vendor here that means the vendor will provide this material if i enter a planning plan that means it is a plant to plant transfer this plant is the sending plant and this is always the receiving plant so i have to maintain a line with planning plant here and the receiving plant is always here so if i enter a vendor here so the vendor is the source of this material and if i have a planning plant here that means this plant is the source of this material so it is a plant to plant transfer which will happen when i have maintained this record please check this data where it shows that you know 74 percent of my viewers are finding value from the videos but they are not subscribed so i appeal to all the viewers to like share and subscribe to my channel and please hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any notification so let's start now the t code which you have to remember for creating a source list is me01 so i type me01 and i press enter now this is my material and this is the plant so i'm creating a list of sources for this material which is maintained in this plant okay list of sources for this material in this plant so this is my receiving plant so the plant here is always the receiving plant so i enter the material and the plant i press enter so this is the initial screen where i wherein i have to type a validity date that till what date to what date i want my supplier to be active so for example if i i can give the start date so the start date will be this and valid two would be any date so normally we give uh, this date like december 31st 9999 so i fill the valid form and valid two date and then i have to fill the supplier so whatever my supplier is i have a supplier with me so i enter my supplier and i press enter so this will ask me for the purchase organization so i would give my purchase organization it is this one and i press enter i can give a planning plant as well now planning plant as i told you if it if i want to do a stock transfer order then i would fill this planning plant and have no entry in this supplier field so as this will be my source plant and this is always the receiving plant so if it's a stock transfer i would empty this field and fill this but for me it is an external procurement so i would fill this option and have no entry here so i can click on this line item and click on the details so this is the detailed view like this is the validity date this is supplier this is the purchase organization so if i have an agreement i can fill here and if i want to fix this vendor so i would check this option so this would be my fixed vendor so i can uncheck and i will save this record so if i save it then i would have um, a message that the source list has uh, is changed now if i want to display the source list so i would go to slash and m e03 this is the material in the plant if i go to press enter so i would have the supplier and the dates so if i go inside if i go to details i would have the options which are filled so this is the process of creating a source list till we meet again in another video you guys take care goodbye